speaker is Heather Scott, born and raised in Muskoka. She graduated from Gravenhurst High School. She always saw how much opportunity there was in Muskoka. Her father was a contractor, and from the moment she could walk, she joined him on job sites. Her formulas, his formula for success was simple. Work hard, give your best, and always follow through. This is a philosophy that Heather keeps close today and uses in her highly successful real estate business. Heather's going to talk to us tonight about building a business and healthy living. Heather Scott, everybody. Thank you very much. I'm going to talk to you about grit tonight, and I'm not going to talk about sandpaper or the gravel in your driveway. The grit I'm talking about is the kind that brings you success in all aspects of your life. Business, school, sports and athletics, even relationships. That grit is a combination of passion and perseverance. Doing well in life is more than a high IQ or your ability to learn quickly. The ability to be successful comes from grit. I should know, I didn't graduate with all A's. I lost both my parents when I was young, and I've had more than my share of setbacks. But this is a marathon, not a sprint. And believe me, you are stronger than you think you are. What I am here to tell you is that hustle will always be talent when talent doesn't hustle. Skill on its own really is use it or lose it. If you ask any Olympic athlete if they roll out of, they will never say that they just rolled out of bed and, and went on. They put in the, the days and the weeks and the years to get to the podium. If you ever listen to any interviews with Warren Buffett or Richard Branson, they'll tell you how they came from nothing and they had failure after failure and setback after setback and they clawed their way up. That is proof that, that grit equals passion plus perseverance. You need to find your passion and then you need to execute. Do you love to bake or uh, do you love people? Do you love music? Do you love animals? Do you love cleaning? Do you love organizing or organizing people? Maybe you love shoes or clothing or, or gardening or maybe you love snow, art. I just watched a, a, a video on Facebook with a young guy in Halifax who loved tinkering with cell phones. He started a business in his grandmother's basement fixing cell phones 24-7. I think he even put out a Kijiji ad that said, I fix cell phones 24-7. Now he's, about five years later, he has four stores, he employs a number of people, he's a member of his local BIA, he's contributing, he is doing what he loves with passion, and he's building a great life. He started out small, tinkering in his, his grandmother's basement, fixing phones, and he executed. I found my passion in real estate. I love Muskoka, like love Muskoka. I think there is no better place in the world that you would ever want to live. And I love bringing people here. I love educating them on it and showing them how great it is and, and everything that we have to offer. But to be successful in real estate, you need to hustle, you need to have passion, perseverance, and patience. But I think everyone will probably agree that patience is grossly underestimated. But again, it comes down to hard work and patience. Don't get trapped looking for the miracle. That's the short game. And remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. You can drive yourself crazy looking for that one move that will change your outcome while others are putting in the hours and executing. To make putting in those hours easier, you need to know your why. Why it is what you do. Making money is not a why. That is an outcome. Why do you get up in the morning? Why are you willing to hustle 24-7? This is my why. That's my dog, my family, my husband, my friends, traveling, uh, you know, taking care of my family and taking care of my community. That is my why. Because people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Uh, there are so many great YouTube videos of Simon Sinek that are out there that talk about this and the power of why and finding your why and establishing leadership. Um, you should really look them up. I'm going to leave you with two of my favorite new thoughts. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk is a huge um, uh, mentor to me, and he has one uh, saying that he says, I'd rather be corny and winning than fly and losing. 
And I think it's taken me 40 years to, to really understand that, but I, I get it now. Gary Vaynerchuk, um, if you don't know him, you can find him all over YouTube. He's a massive New York Jets fan. And his dream has always been to buy the New York Jets. Now, he doesn't actually need to buy the New York Jets, but he needs to have the, the goal that he could buy the New York Jets. And that's what gets him up in the morning. And last, Bye. happiness is not a goal. Happiness is a byproduct. You don't become successful and then have money and then you're happy. You live happy, you become successful, and the rest will fall into place. Thank you very much.